without escape. So I'll be, I'll come clean. I totally thought that today was going to be the return of Pipe Push Paradise, and we're going to see if we can finish it or not. And uh, I, wow, if that game was hard before, it sure is even harder to get back into it uh, after you've taken a break. That's, I'm just adding hurdles to the process of trying to complete that game. We'll see one of these days. God damn it. Uh, well, this is Without Escape. It's a point-and-click adventure type game for like in the vein of like, you know, Mist and whatnot. Got a code for it recently and wanted to check it out. And I guess today's the day. I'm going to turn off that film grain because it makes YouTube videos look considerably worse. Because the uh, level of noise that it adds to the screen doesn't mix well with uh, rendering. So we'll just avoid that. Also, there was a blood and gore warning at the intro, so I guess keep that in mind if you care about that. After an exhausting day in class, I came home and found nobody there. I didn't give it too much thought. My parents told me days ago that they were going to visit my grandparents. They live 200 miles from here, so my parents would probably stay there the whole weekend. The only thing I had for dinner was frozen lasagna. I don't like it very much. But all the shops were closed by the time I got home, so that's what I got stuck with. After dinner, I decided to watch some TV in the living room. There wasn't anything interesting on. Just political talk shows and movies from the 50s. I was really tired, so I just went to sleep earlier than usual. Some strange noises woke me up suddenly at 2.45 a.m. My first thought was that someone must have broken in to rob the house. I decided to get out of bed and investigate. Uh, starting with my parents' bedroom. It's really dark. I should turn on the lights. Much better. Now let's see if I can figure out what's going on. Oh, so there's an indicator of where you can and can't click and that it's just an X when it's a, when it's a place you can't use. Oh, hey. The key to salvation lies within this number. Someone left a note next to the lamp. I wonder what that means. I think it means it's time to reach behind me and grab that pen and paper. And try to be ready with that. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna write salvation. 6663498. And the note taking begins. It's quiet now. But I'm going to keep looking. Also, I let the audio get a little loud on my ears. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, you cannot click in the middle of the bar. Alright. That's better for me. The wardrobe's locked, but I don't think there's anything there I need right now. You lock your wardrobe? That just sounds like a pain for getting dressed every day. Picture of a landscape. Wonder why it's not straight. I also wonder why it's not straight. No, I can't click on it. Yep, 2.45. I'd like to get back to bed, but I won't be able to sleep until I know what's going on. There are various clothes and sheets in the drawers. One of them's locked. I guess I'm sitting here trying to do puzzle solving stuff, but my in-universe in I have no context for wanting to solve and look around. I should probably investigate the sound. The bathroom's really dark. Looks like the bulb's blown. Right now, there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. Okay. Concerning. That's odd. I haven't seen that picture before. It has a strange shape painted on it. And it's stained with a red fluid. For some reason, when I gaze at it for more than a couple seconds, it starts to give me a headache. Oh, that's how you save. Okay, it is safe successfully. I feel a light, wispy breeze of fresh air. For some reason, this makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. You should probably feel uncomfortable about the fact that a mysterious painting covered in blood is just in your house that wasn't there before. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong over here. It's obvious that something happened while I was sleeping, but what? Why are the lights on? It all seems quiet around here, but I'm going to keep investigating just in case. How many of your rooms have blown out bulbs? That's just a thing that happens? Let's go out the front door. Back door? 
It's freezing out here. I shouldn't stay here too long if I don't want to catch a cold. It's not really how colds usually work. There are still some wet clothes inside the washing machine. I was supposed to hang them up, but yeah. Trash cans full of garbage. I was supposed to empty it yesterday, but it's still full. It's just a bucket with a mop and a little dirty water. Here's the water heater. I can set it to whatever temperature I want, but it will take a little while for the water to reach that temperature. Okay, I don't have context for that yet, so we'll 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 sort of avoid that for a bit. Does right clicking make me go backwards? No, I was curious. Now I think the door you came in from is going to usually be on camera somewhere, so you can turn around and leave. I need to find where the sound came from. The main water valve is inside, but the door is locked. You don't have access to your own house very much, do you? Can't open this door. Feels like something's blocking it from the other side. The drawers are locked. This door is locked. Holy crap, everything's locked in your house, dude. Oops. Let's go back to... Back to here, I suppose. Anything on TV? I need a remote so I can turn on the TV. We really struggle at basic actions. Hello. Here's the remo uh, TV remote control. It's not working, though, since it doesn't have any batteries. <laughs> Not even the remote has batteries on top of everything else. All right, let's see if I can dial the number. I can use the phone to call for help. Nine, one, one. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> never around when you need them, achievement unlocked. Damn, police never seem to be around when you need them. The game knows what's doing, at least. We'll try the number from earlier. What a strange noise. I better put it down. The phone, I guess? I, I assume he means put down the phone, not write down the noise, because I don't even know how to write that down. The clock stopped working a long time ago. The minute hand isn't the same place as before, though. It's like it's pointing at something outside the clock now. I, I should not, Oh my god. You're right, I do need to talk to the cockroaches. Oh my god, I'm sorry, look at- these are incredible. Alright, are turtles actually slower than, than cheetahs? Talk to the cockroaches. Help, I can't write! Paranormal stuff is real. Learn about typography. Code your own- your first Pong game. Fuck all this hate in the world. <laughs> oh my god, wait, 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 wait. In the bottom corner down there, that's without escape, which is this game. <laughs> Alright, those are kind of fantastic. Those are fantastic book covers. No, go back. I want to look at them up close. Code your first Pong game. He has two copies of that. The first Guardian. Uh, design your own underpants, I think it says. That one's hard to read. <laughs> he has so many copies of Code Your First Pong game. And also he put China on top of a crappy CRT. Who would do such a thing? Not a lot going on here. How do I go upstairs? There we go. Let's go back in our room and double check anything, because apparently... Alright, the phone's ringing. The phone rang once, then it stopped. Who would call at this hour? Just two pairs of slippers. They've been used a lot, but they're still in good condition. Can't look behind me. I like the implication that whenever I enter this room, I stand in the corner, like, above my bed and levitate over it. It's really dark. I should turn on the lights. Alright, fair enough. You can turn the lights off. But it's not very productive. Let's try looking at the light. The It's just an ordinary picture. It's a photo near a mountain village I visited three years ago. But we don't have the rights for it, so I can't zoom in any further. It occurs to me I don't know which door I came from. Wait, no, I tried this one, though, didn't I? Right. It's more that it occurs to me that you don't have a natural in I indication of which one you might have come from, although I guessed correctly immediately when I went back in. Huh. Seems the door is locked. What? Why is the door of my bedroom locked? I left it open. Why is the door of your bedroom locked? 
Isn't this your... Is this not your bedroom? Whose bedroom is this? Oh, two pairs of slippers. Is this your parents? But there's one pillow. Two chairs. Two pairs of slippers. One pillow. I don't know. Huh. Back downstairs. I can try the phone. Can I pick it up? You can't pick it up. All you can do is do the number. Nobody's answering the, this number. Wait. That's okay. That changed. It doesn't do the weird thing from before. It does that. Huh. Oh. There seems to be something between the books. Hey, it's a key. Oh. You got a small key. You can see what items you currently have by pressing I. So I have a key now. I'm a little worried about the fact that that was like a pixel hunt moment, but there was a technically a clock pointing at it, so maybe that was a better hint. Among all these books, there's a newspaper clipping that says, Jonathan Luis McConaughey was arrested for creating a public disturbance. He was shouting that the makers would arrive soon and they would wipe out mankind. After several days in jail, the 47-year-old male died for still unknown reasons. The coroners who performed the autopsy were stunned. Apparently, the man was in perfect health. His body just stopped working. The article keeps on, but it just repeats the same thing with other words. I remember hearing about this case, but I don't understand why there's a newspaper article from 2003 among these books. Because you were that man. You're in a, you've been in a coma ever since... What? Oh, hey. Someone left a level next to the phone. And apparently we decided it belongs to us now. Welcome, me. Alright, we have a level and we have a... I don't know what a level's gonna be used for, but a key is more straightforward. Go find a spot that's locked. It weirds me out that I can't look over there next to the stairs. I can't look down here directly. Door's locked. Something's blocking this one. This one's locked. I guess I'll find a locked thing that I can open now. The wardrobe, perhaps? Seems that the key is for the drawer. Inside, below all the clothes, there's a pack of batteries. Although there's only one left, I'll take it just in case. I know where you go. We're about to watch TV. I put in one battery, I still need one more. Crap. Well, what do the newspapers say? Uh, I think it says Elder Man had an argument with a cloud about the correct way to eat hamburgers. Is that a Simpsons reference? The Outer Space Journal, Trusty News. 90% of the students bre I can't breathe. I think it says breathe. 90% of students breathe. All right. It seems that the hand was pointing to that key. I like how you, a normal human who lives in this house, have just accepted the idea that this crap, like you're just in an adventure game now and weird bonkers ass stuff is gonna happen and you're just, not, you're just gonna have to accept that about yourself. That would have taken a little longer, I think. Ooh, a pair of decorative plates and a vase filled with roses. I don't need to water them because they're made of plastic. Oh, it. I blanked on the roses and I was like, I don't need to water plates because <laughs> I was just focused on the design of the plates and looking at those. Okay, so nothing goes on with, the, with that. We just move on. What am I going to do with a level? So all I have is a level and batteries. I apparently can't get the batteries out of that uh, clock. Turns out it was a phone number, so the game even reminds you when you've already done something with stuff. Like the the text updates to indicate that you're no, you don't need to do anything with that anymore. Until I get a bulb or something, there's just or a flashlight maybe. There's nothing I can do with that stuff. I'm a tad worried because this game is definitely 
threatening to get a little pixel hunty already, isn't it? Tried that. That door is blocked. I have a level, right? That's the back door. I could change the water temperature. I just don't have a reason to do that yet. Well, let's max that shit out. Maximum temperature is apparently 80 degrees. Alright. 176 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes time. It takes real time to get there. The bucket with a mop and a little dirty water. How is a level used to, useful to me? What would I need to level? I, got, I don't... I don't get it. Hmm. I feel like by now I would have just assumed that what happened is I made that uh, by now I would have assumed that whatever s uh, sound I heard was just like the bulbs blowing out because apparently I have two blown out bulbs in this house and I'd be a little more worried about that. You can't do stuff when you go to places like this. There's no icon anywhere on the screen. So all you can do is leave again. Where could I find another battery? Is it going to be like under the seat cushions? What bothers me a little bit is there's definitely like battery powered devices around here that you'd think you could get a battery out of. But instead, not so much. I wonder why saving is manual while we're at it. I can't look in the dresser. Oh, the crooked picture. It's... When I used the level to straighten the picture, a lighter dropped to the floor from behind it. Still, the picture doesn't stay straight. What? I... Uh... Okay? Recalibrating expectations of what level of sanity to expect the puzzles to have. Okay. Like, I get it. There is definitely, like, a logical connection in a very insane video gamey sense of, like, oh yeah, there is a crooked thing, and I have a level. Use the level on the crooked thing, and something might happen. But I'm definitely sitting here like, what in the world? <laughs> all right, all right. So ignore, we need to forget that this is even somebody's house and just think of it as a wacky escape room. I can do that, because that is some weirdness right there. But we didn't level that one. Wait, I have a lighter. Does that mean I can go in here? Yeah, I've got light. Can't check in there. I need to find a battery. The water's not running, no matter how much I jiggle the faucet. And I jiggled it hard. The mirror is unusually clean. There's usually small splashes of toothpaste. Ugh. 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 Well, it seems someone forgot to flush the toilet, and now the water's not flowing. Inside that crap, it looks like there's something shining. There's no way I'm putting my hand down in there. Ugh. <coughs> Excuse me. Jesus. Alright. So, what... There's something in the toilet, but he won't, doesn't want to touch it. How are we going to get it out of the toilet, though, if he won't put his hand in? Because if you if you flush it, isn't it going to go down the toilet? Or is just the crap going to go down? The ladder won't turn on, no matter how much I flip the switch. How, who, who forgets to flush? What monsters? The towel's wet. If somebody used it recently, it wasn't me. Are you sure you live here, dude? Inside the cabinet, there's stuff like hydrogen peroxide, soaps, and shampoos. Still not sure entirely what to make of the, a description saying something like, the, the mirror is unusually clean. Huh. Yeah, I can't do anything from there. Is this all 3D modeled, or is any of the, are any of these photos? I almost... 
there's such a specific quality to the reflections and stuff that I could almost be fooled into thinking that this is real. Like, the it has the right... Everything has the right color to it. But everything's just, just too clean and too perfect that it looks like it's got to be 3D modeled. But, like, this... This looks like somebody just took a picture of their house. Uh, in particular, because I, I, we used to play Xbox Live Indie games that were made that way. Me and, me and Andrew, we'd play ones that were just pictures that people took of their house. So I think I need to either figure out how to flush the toilet. Let's see. Water's not flowing because they forgot to flush. Yeah, I, momentarily I thought that maybe it's just like so cold it froze. It looks like my, cl my clock is staring at me in the window. Right, well, there's one other dark place. Uh... Right? Nope. No. It's over there. Hi. The sweater's messy. Should really just toss it. But I have an odd feeling it might be useful tonight. We just took a sweater. Alright. Oh, right now it's warm outside and my character will stop complaining probably. So there's that. This is the jacket I wear when it gets below freezing. Since I can't go outside, it's no use to me now. Apparently the door must be locked then. Here's the way out, but the door is blocked. I can't explain why, but I knew this would happen. There are several umbrellas hanging here. We haven't used them lately, because it's been a while since it last rained. This picture is a photo from a famous photographer. I have more important things to worry about now. There's only junk inside the bowl. Wait a sec. There's also a key. Dun dun dun. Nondescript keys that could go into basically anything, so you kind of just have to guess, but that's fine because we only have three rooms so far. So I can work with it. I'll figure it out. It might be the big thing. I assume it doesn't work here. It's worth a shot. <laughs> be a very short game if that just worked immediately. Other locked doors. Let's see. Backups. Yeah, you could work. This is the one that's blocked from the other side, so that's not much help. You? Thanks to the key, is able to open the door. This is my bedroom, apparently. Oh, yeah, this is different. That's just a GameCube. That is just a GameCube. And a bunch of video games. Which video games? Is that Fable? Here's my game collection. Mostly break... break... cube... titles. But I also have some Rad Station 2 games. But right now isn't the time to think about video games. It's always time to think about video games. I'm definitely distracted by the fact that I'm looking at a PlayStation 2 and a GameCube, but all the games I can see from here are for the Xbox 360. Perfect Dark! It's Perfect Dark right there. I can see it. I can make it out at that resolution. And is that Mario Sunshine up there? I think those are GameCube games. Those are Wii games. No, those are GameCube games, I think. That's definitely 360, that's definitely Wii. That's probably PS2. Really hard to make out PS2 games from a distance because they're just black with a white title usually, and it's like they all look the same. That might be specifically Fable 3 in the front. I want to look at them, even though it's, they're just some random ass video games. It's instinctual. Are these all speakers or something? This is my break... Oh yeah, it says break cube. The the min tiendo break cube. So this is all yeah this yeah this is all custom stuff. It's just the three D render rendering that's in pre rendered screenshots with a filter on them have gotten to the point where they just look like real life now. It's weirding me out. Nobody would call that a console that though. It's unpronounceable. The break cube cube. What's what's break cuve? What's what is the word even? Cuve. That name doesn't work at all. I can't play right now because there's no controllers around. Besides, I've got other things to worry about here in the middle of the night. Like how there was a sound, I guess. And there's no other signs of distress. If I, if I reacted this way to a sound every single time, I'd, I'd lose my mind. I was once up late, like way too late. In the, it was a weekend, I think, maybe. Or summer break, I don't know. But I was, I was up incredibly late playing World of Warcraft. Just unhealthy habits all across the board. And I heard what I thought was a gunshot. And I turned off all the lights in my room and I looked out the window carefully and I was like convinced something wrong had happened for like 10 minutes before it, I finally, it finally occurred to me that I was up so late 
with my window open that I just I heard the the paper boy throw the paper into the driveway and it was just so loud compared to the utter silence around me that it made me feel physically threatened. That's my rad station too. The optical drive broke, so I can't play it. Besides, not a good time. Also, we didn't want to model the, its custom logo, so we just don't let you zoom in on it. In these drawers is a bunch of stuff, including a pair of old pliers that I really should have put away rather than just stuffing them here. But now that I think about it, they might come in handy. Old pliers. They look like shit. I don't understand how that door got closed, but it doesn't look like anything's wrong over here. In fact, I feel safer in this part of the house. That's because of Perfect Dark. Joanne is watching you over here. Oh, that wait, is that those might those might be GameCube games, because that kinda looks like Samus. I don't know, it's so far away, man. I just recognize Joanna because it's built into my goddamn childhood. My PC stopped working because the power supply got fried. Too bad. Could have used it to call for help. Look at the reflection. You can see the reflection of the other side of the room in the, in there. That's nice. There's a lot of tall-ass drawers, and none of them are openable, apparently. Is that all you have to offer me, game? Is that all that's here? I don't see anything I can use. I guess the pliers are probably important. They must have been important, because there's there seems to be nothing else here. I have a sweater, pliers, and I have a lighter. Okay. That wasn't nice. What was that? I thought I saw something, but maybe I'm just imagining things. In what universe do you encounter that visual and you just keep walking and don't react? Uh Sounds like someone's banging on the door from inside. But nobody was there. I'm gonna save again. There we go. <laughs> the idea of him just not noticing the thing is weird. Well, I still don't- I still don't have a battery. Oh, we're getting we're getting spooky noises now. This is where this is where we're going with this. This is where we're going with this. It's freezing out here. Put your jacket on. You just you have a jacket right now. I'm so confused why you didn't put the jacket on. Right now it's set to very high, and successfully at that temperature. I just don't know why I did that. There's something blocking that one from the other side. Do we just get a spooky noise and that's it? At the moment I see no indication that anything has actually changed around here. It seems the door is locked. Ah! I'll wrap my hand with this old sweater so I can grab the shiny object. It wasn't pleasant, but turns out it was actually a key. At least it was worth it. I hope it's not the only- I'm not the only one who gets their hands in places like this. So now we have another key. I can work with that. What would I use the pliers for? Have I encountered something that was like stuck or something? The only thing that comes to mind is the door that's closed. But that's not really relevant. <laughs> you can't unstuck the door when something's blocking it from the other side. I think it's gonna work on this. Yep. It's the way it's the main water valve. There isn't a handle grip because I broke <laughs> it broke a while ago. But now I can turn it thanks to the pliers. Ah. Although it was a bit rusty, I managed to turn on the water. Doesn't look like anything's wrong over here. Oh yeah. Water's running now, so there's nothing left to do here. Oh, wait. Upstairs was the sink. Maybe if I run the water, something will happen? The pipes made some weird noises, but at least the water's running. What the heck? A lockpick had gotten stuck, and just came out of the faucet. Well, anything that comes out of a faucet should be useful. Okay, that's just... We're just gonna casually introduce that, and then you just keep lockpicks in your... in your... In your in your sink. That's normal. Everything's normal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Still haven't opened this yet. Other door? Doors seems to be locked. Yeah, if only we had like a lock pick, then maybe we would be able to open the locked thing. Wouldn't that be interesting? 
Wait, what? Wait, my room is locked. Wait, my room is locked again. What the hell? Don't do that. Why is my room locked? Thanks to the lockpick, I was able to open this door, and only this door. The other ones don't open that way. And now it's gone. I broke the lockpick, apparently. Are those like salad bowls? Look at that. Look at that. Just kind of annoying plates this person owns. I'm annoyed at them for owning them. I can't see anything through the window, just darkness. Everything seems to be in order here. I'm not hungry, but I'll still take a look around. There's not much left in the fridge, but it's got a really strong stink coming out of it. There's just burned food crumbs and greasy spatters inside the oven. No. No, there's another key. What the hell is it doing here? Alright, we're big on finding keys. There are plates and glasses in the cupboards. Nothing strange. I actually get the sense this might have been an Xbox Live indie game. It has a very similar feel to some of the ones that we used to play. Alright, well I've got another key. Ye upstairs room? Thanks to the keys they put open the door. Okay. This is my father's office. He's kinda old fashioned. You can tell that because of the furniture and paintings. However, this room has its own charm. My father spends a lot of time here, either writing or reading books. That's a familiar to Toy Story toy. Piggy bank. It's got, sm it's got change in it. Wow. That's my childhood, huh? Is <laughs> I see that and I'm like, oh look, it's from Toy Story and not, oh yeah, it's the thing that the, was the toy in Toy Story. Like the point of it was that it was a piggy bank, which is a real item. Here are some invoices and other documents. Middle drawer is locked. These drawers are completely empty. The middle one's locked. No, so just in case that we were done with keys, we're not. A wide variety of psychology and medicine books. My father loves this stuff. My mother also likes them, but she doesn't read that much because she is usually tired when she gets home from work and napping is more relaxing for her. Ooh, the book? Ah. This is a jewelry box with flower details. It has a plaque that says, The Birth of a Prophet. I know it's not nice to snoop around, but maybe there's something I could use tonight. I'll try to enter the code. The Birth of a Prophet. No? Did I try it? It's probably a clue in this room. This piece of furniture is closed. I have no idea what's inside. Some romantic landscapes. My father likes to stare at them and contemplate those exotic and mysterious worlds. It sure fits his character. Okay, so all the bookshelves give you the same description, and I can't look at them up close to see what kind of dumb books they may have, they may have created, because <laughs> there's a precedent for that. Although I can see that that book repeats a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like it's just the same book over and over again as far as I can tell. Sometimes with slightly different sizes. All we have is a lighter. Oh, world globe. That's kind of outdated. The Soviet Union's still there. The birth of a prophet. Is it? An, is the number come from an environmental clue or something else? At the moment, I don't see any numbers on here. You can feel surprisingly restricted not being able to just look, sort of look around. We're not interested in breaking the piggy bank. Maybe the amount of money inside the piggy bank is the code for the profit code thing. 